Right, so welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are new around here or you just have not done so already, be sure you subscribe down below and also like the video as it does massively help the channel. And also, while you're down there, hit that notification bell so you know when I next upload a video. But today, we are going to be doing a review on the newly released car, the Land Stalker. Now, this is mainly an off-road car, an SUV, so we will obviously be testing it off-road as well as just on the road, basically. But first things first, we are going to need to upgrade the thing. So upgrading it, there are a variety of upgrades that you could do. Obviously, there are the basic ones of brakes, the bumpers and all that. I don't put armor on because it does slow the vehicle down. So that's just a little tip. But brakes, obviously maximum. The front bumper, there are a few choices here. But overall, me personally, I do prefer the race splitter one as it just looks way more clean and it seems to be a little bit better than the other one. Now for the rear bumper, I eventually just went for the most expensive one as obviously, as most of them, they just look the best in the end once you get the final result. Engine, obviously max that out. Exhaust. Now the exhaust is a little bit weird because there's a lot of ones that don't look like they fit on this car. So it took me a while to, to kind of figure out which one I wanted between these two because that one to me looks off center. So I ended up just going for the most expensive one once again because again that one, the cheaper one, 10, 10 and a half grand looked a little bit off center. The grill I ended up just scrolling through and just picking again the most expensive one because it just looked better and I knew I was going to change the secondary color. For the hood, I ended up just scrolling through all of them and trying to figure out which one looked the best with the color red on it. And I ended up just picking this one right here. Now, then for the lights, the basic ones, we've got the most expensive lights there, the light, the layout, and also then obviously the orange underlay glow. Now for the livery, I didn't actually know you could have liveries on most of these vehicles, but you could. Now there were a lot of them that did suit this car, but for me personally, I ended up going for just the blood splatter, I believe, because it just looked the best, because it just seemed like quite dirty on the car, and you know, it's an off-road car, so it kind of looked quite good. And then for this, I ended up just going for the plastic mirrors because they were black and they looked cool. Again, the black and yellow plate because basic. And then for the secondary color, I changed it to red just so the whole car would match up because I just like the cars being red because it just looks nice and cool on most cars. So that's just what I paint them as. For the roof, I ended up just scrolling through most of them. And I was actually surprised when I saw the variety here because I thought there would have been more like luggage and all that. But I ended up just going for one of the most expensive ones, which is then obviously the large roof rack. And then obviously going down, we had then the skirt, which is basically just a step up on the van or the SUV or the massive car, whichever one you want to call it. So it's basically just a step up, so I just went the most expensive. I didn't upgrade the suspension because, again, it was off-road. I did obviously get the transition and the turbo. And then for wheels, me personally, I'm not really fussed about wheels, so I kind of spent a not too much time because me personally I'm not really fussed with wheels I don't really upgrade them that often but for this I decided to make an exception and just go in the end for the off-road wheels because they looked quite nice especially these ones with the red dirty look on the car and then for the final thing on this car obviously we're going to have to get the bulletproof tires and then obviously the blue smoke for the car and then after that it was just simply the blacked out windows and then that was it. We were good to go and test out this new car. Now, one thing I did find when I was actually driving this around is the back end does like to swing out a lot. And that is obviously simply because although the car is very powerful, it's, it's very powerful and it's quite long. So when you have a powerful car that's long, it likes to just swing its back end around and just lose complete control. Even though it is off-road and you most probably have a lot of grip, it still just swings the back end out and you end up losing control. However, when it actually does come to off-roading in this thing, it does control quite well because obviously, again, it's quite long, so then it is quite heavy. So it stays quite low to the ground so that even when you're off-road and you go over a little hill or something, you can still control the car because, again, the suspension kicks in, the wheels go down, the car's heavy, 
so then it goes all the way back down to the ground quite quickly so you can t take control other than say like maybe a sports car or a supercar when you may go off road by accident or something it just flies off a little hill and you lose complete control of it because their cars them cars are quite light this one seems quite heavy however on the road it's not that great on the actual road itself it's not that great especially in the city because it just kept swerving around corners and the back end kept going out granted it was quite easy to combat that but it is still swerving out along the side so then that pretty much does it for this review of this new car let me know what you guys think down below me personally i don't really think i'll enjoy driving it around because i mainly drive in the city and i don't really go off road that often because most of the map is just tarmac so let me know what you guys think of this car down below but anyways if you want to go check out some other reviews of all the other cars they'll be out pretty soon or there might be some outs already so Either that, or go check some of my videos, because there are plenty more on the channel for you guys to go watch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.